Britain's fishermen are set to see a major boost to their hauls post-Brexit, under the UK government's new trade proposals. The calls for doubled fishing catches has led to a deadlock in trade and fisheries talks between the two parties. The new demand from Boris Johnson's government comes as Brexit trade talks with the EU near their October deadline. Michel Barnier, the EU's chief negotiator, previously told the bloc a deal with the UK looks unlikely. The new quota for fishermen in the UK would see vessel catch 50% of fish in British waters. Currently, the UK retains 25% of fish in its waters, with the rest being caught by European vessels. The EU's common fisheries policy takes the largest share of fish stock for European boats. In the Celtic Sea, British boats are allowed to catch only 10% of the haddock quota, whereas French fishermen take 66%. Other waters see similar quotas, with European boats in the Channel taking 91% of cod, and British boats in the North Sea taking only 4% of sole. But Mr Barnier has urged the UK to reconsider the demand, as it would cut 31% of the EU fishing fleet. Fishing policy has deadlocked talks between the UK and EU, with the new demand adding to the impasse. Mr Barnier has also warned without a fisheries agreement, there will be no trade deal with the UK. A Brussels' source told The Times the UK's demand for double the fishing haul from its waters will tank talks. They said, Barnier cannot budge on anything while this stays on the table. He would be crucified. David Frost, the UK's chief negotiator, has held firm and kept the demand as a red-line policy. After January 1, Britain will regain sovereignty of its waters and fish stocks, and intends to set new quota shares based on zonal attachment. Mr Johnson's spokesman spoke yesterday about the EU's dismissal of the proposal. He said, the EU have refused to engage with our proposals. Insisting that we must accept continuity with EU fisheries policy and disregarding the UK's status as an independent coastal state.